In the last two sections, we have mentioned that when the other factors are constant, the quantity of output supplied will rise with the price level in the short run, but not in the long run. In this section, we will discuss how non-price level factors affect the short run and long run aggregate supply curves. As referred to the diagram, where y axis represents the price level and the x axis represents the quantity of output supplied, real GDP. Any changes in the non-price level factors will shift the short run or long run aggregate supply curve, either rightward if increased or leftward if decreased. The long run aggregate supply curve is vertical at the potential output level, which is determined by available resources and technology. For example, the growth in labor, capital, natural resources, and technology improvement can lead to an increase in the long run aggregate supply shifting the long-run aggregate supply curve rightward. On the other hand, short-run aggregate supply mainly depends on changes of production cost. If the cost of production increases, short-run aggregate supply will decrease, shifting the short-run aggregate supply curve to the left. Let's take an increase in population as an example. An increase in population is likely to raise the labour supply in the economy. When more labour is available, the long-run aggregate supply curve will shift to the right. At the same time, wages will fall because of increased labour supply, and it will lower the production cost of firms and thus shift the short-run aggregate supply curve to the right too. Capital accumulation, like the construction of new factories, the purchase of new machines and tools, improvement in the skills and knowledge of labour, can all improve productivity, which will then lead to an increase in the long-run aggregate supply. At the same time, as an increase in capital leads to higher productivity, production cost decreases and the short-run aggregate supply will increase too. Next, let's consider the effect of an increase in natural resource. For example, if a new natural gas field is discovered, the potential output of the economy will increase and the long-run aggregate supply curve will shift to the right. In contrast, if an earthquake destroys the infrastructure of an economy, the long-run aggregate supply will decline. At the same time, as changes in natural resources will affect the cost of production, they will also affect the short-run aggregate supply correspondingly. Technological advancement can improve productivity. For example, the invention of computer allows us to produce more with the same amount of resources. Therefore, an improvement in technology and knowledge can shift the long-run aggregate supply curve rightward. At the same time, technological improvement can also reduce production cost, increasing the short-run aggregate supply. Lastly, expectation towards price level will also affect the short-run aggregate supply. Suppose workers expect an increase in the price level. They will then strike for an increase in wages in order to maintain their purchasing power. Due to the rise in the firm's production cost, the short-run aggregate supply will decrease. Hence, an increase in the expected price level will reduce the supply of goods and services in short run, shifting the short-run aggregate supply curve leftward. In contrast, if the price level is expected to fall, the short-run aggregate supply curve will shift to the right. To conclude, an increase in labour, capital, natural resources and technological advancement will increase both the short-run and long-run aggregate supplies and shift the curves to the right, whereas the expectation of the price level will only affect the short-run aggregate supply.